Hello folks, Wayne Bolden from the Speaking Channel. As always, I ask that you turn your closed captions on. And of course, as always, please subscribe, ring the bell, do those things you do to support us. And we ask that you join our membership as we move into our third year on YouTube here. You'll find our join button right next to our subscribe button for sure on our homepage. And of course, as always, our tip sheets are available for any track in North America. Email me at speedking24 at yahoo.com. Well, closing day tomorrow, Sunday, at the beautiful spa up there in Saratoga Springs. And we're looking at the hopeful. That's right, they're derby dreaming again. Ah, two-year-old babies. Seven furlongs, 300,000, a small field of six. Let's dive right in. I have a strong opinion. Western Jet, 30-1 to 1 on the morning line. One win from four starts by American Farrell. The coach is doing all the conditioning. He'll be calling the plays, D. Wayne Lucas. Louis Saez is in the yards. Well, Western Gent looks uh, very much overmatched in here. Coming out of a $75,000 maiden claim, and we don't like him in this spot at all. Forte. Well, Forte's not a bad horse. Uh, one win from two starts. The horse is by violent. Trained by that man who? Todd Pletcher. That's right. Todd Pletcher has an uh, eye rat in the arm, as usual. Not a bad horse. I mean, again, here's a horse uh, that's on the end, proved, broken maiden, ran in the Sanford grade three stake race on July 16th, some 51 days ago, behind Mo Strike. I think the horse had a little trouble there, uh, was the beaten favorite soundly. Uh, so I'll probably have uh, Forte, the number two, as our second or third choice in here. And number three, Bourbon Bash. The old Bourbon Bash has one win from two starts. Okay, by City of Lights. That's an awful, awesome, awesome, awesome horse, right? City of Light. We all remember that Breeders' Cup race. And again, the coach has two in here. He's trying to circle the wagon. D. Wayne Lucas uh, has employed the services of Tyler Gaffleyon. And this is a very, very nice horse by City of Light. Everybody knows City of Light is very, very fast horse, and it looks like the, uh, the babies are just as fast for sure. But to me, this one's a cut below the horse that we're interested in here, and to be honest, a cut below Todd Pletcher's horse, Forte. So we're not going to uh, use Bourbon Bash in this spot. This horse should set the pace though, for sure. The number three horse we're going to throw out. Well, well, well. Oh, Gulfport. 9 to 5, trained by my guy. That's right. It's Mr. Asmussen, and you're talking about Derby Dreaming. Well, this one is very, very highly recommended. Two wins from three starts, one second. This horse only beat came in the Saratoga Special, where he was beat by uh, Michelle Love Lovell's uh, horse, uh, Damon's Mound, in the Saratoga Special. That was a very, very nice race for Damon's Mound. That's a nice two-year-old baby. However, Golfport had a little trouble at the top of the lane, Rosario kind of gave him the business there, you know, he steady, he shuffled, he checked out, then he came back running. I expect this horse to rebound off of that in a big, big way. The number four horse, Golfport, is 9 to 5. Our fair value on him is 7 to 5. If you get 9 to 5 on, on Golfport, you should be betting this horse to win. I like him a lot in this, in this spot. We'll be wagering on this one to win, right on the tip of his nose, for sure. The number five, Mo Strike. Two wins, two starts, two wins. That's awfully good. Well, Mo Strike won the Sanford, grade three. Again, Brad Cox and all his big head horses. Flo is in town to ride this one. Speed figures are a cut below here. But again, you can't knock Mo Strike, who's by Uncle Mo. And again, he comes from the, uh, the Brad Cox barn and deserves to, um, I guess, to be taken a long, long look at. I have five to two. I hope this horse takes money, and I know he will. I don't like him here because of the numbers going in. Okay, he's very, very fast. There's going to be a lot of gas in here. The number three, the number five, and the number six are going to go to the front, right? Or at least try to. So again, to me, I'm going to look past most strike in this spot, five to two or not, merry horse or not. The number six horse, Blazing Sevens. Well, this one's interesting. One start, one win by good magic. Wow, 
Chad Brown is doing all the conditioning. And of course, Manny Franco's in the yarns on this one. He was in the yarns when this horse broke in Maiden on July 24th, some 43 days ago. We know they're going to move forward for Chad Brown in their second start. This horse beat the number three horse, uh, Bourbon Bash, last time. Beat him handily, okay? So again, we'll make uh, Blazing Sevens our, eh, probably our third pick. So in this year's Hopeful, I went through them all. I'm only interested in the Asmussen runner here, Gulfport. We're being a homer, but this is a very, very nice uh, two-year-old baby. And we're going to be betting this horse to win for sure. He is our best bet on the card on closing day in the beautiful Hopeful. So for us, it's the number four, Gulfport. Always, all the time. Our second pick, we'll go back inside to the number two horse, Forte. Ah, no need to apologize to no one. This is a Todd Pletcher runner. Our third pick could be the number six, Blazing Seven, who is also Chad Brown. Don't need no introduction. So for us, it's about the four horse, Golfport. He is our best bet. We don't really care about the rest of the field, but the two and six is our second and third pick. Four, two, six, and this year's hopeful. We believe that Gulfport could be the one for Asmussen. Maybe. Derby dreaming, of course. We like Gulfport a whole bunch this time. Side note, if Rosario's not back off suspension, Rosario's not going to ride Gulfport, it'll be Pratt. Oh, my God. Speaking, you betting Pratt? Maybe. I think I will. We love the number four horse in this spot. Pratt or no Pratt.